Why Beckham wanted to leave Manchester United, how Beckham nearly ended up at Camp Nou and Ronaldinho at Old Trafford, and how this story caused Manchester United to make their greatest ever signing. So our story takes place in 2003, but it can be broken down into three separate storylines. The first is Beckham at Manchester United, the second is Florentino Perez and the Galacticos, and the third is Joan Laporta's presidency at Barcelona. So at Manchester United, Beckham had been the star player ever since the treble of 1999. He was a runner-up for the Ballon d'Or and FIFA World Player of the Year in 99 and the runner-up for the FIFA Award again in 2001. From 99 to 2003, Beckham had won four Premier League titles with United, one Champions League and one FA Cup. So Beckham around 2003 was at the peak of the footballing world, one of the best midfielders in world football. But going into 2003, things were turbulent at United. Ferguson felt that Beckham was losing focus and discipline and blamed his celebrity lifestyle for the decline in attitude. In February 2003, after a 2-0 loss at home in the FA Cup to Arsenal, Beckham and Ferguson had an altercation in the changing room after the game, which ended with Beckham receiving a cut above his eye from a boot that was thrown by Ferguson. Ferguson tried to patch things up the next day, but the damage was done well before the incident, and so Ferguson instructed the United board to find a buyer for Beckham. Meanwhile, in Catalonia, after three seasons of decline, which saw Barcelona not finish higher than fourth place from 2000 to 2003, sitting in sixth place by the end of the 2002-2003 season, President Joan Gaspar resigned, leaving a power vacuum which would be filled by Joan Laporta, who ran his presidential campaign on a Johan Cruyff patronage, appointing former Cruyff player Jiki Bagheristein as sporting director and Frank Rijkaard as manager, and pledged to bring the total football Barcelona style back to the club. Laporta not only promised a radical change in style and philosophy, but also promised to bring in the best players available. Florentino Perez in the capital had done this on a grander scale three years previous. Laporta and his representatives had met with Beckham and Laporta had promised to make the signing should he become president, but until then he had no power to complete the transfer. Across Spain in the capital, Real Madrid and Florentino Perez were midway through their Galactico experiment. They had wrestled Luis Figo from Barcelona in 2000 and then brought in World Cup winners Zinazin Zidane in 2001 and then Ronaldo in 2002. But who would they target in the summer of 2003? Some names who appeared on the Ballon d'Or and World Player of the Year list for 2002 were Thierry Henry, Michael Ballack, Alessandro Del Piero, David Beckham, Shevchenko and Ronaldinho. But Real Madrid were already stacked with attacking talent. Carlos Quiro was the manager of Real Madrid going into the new season and had Ronaldo as his centre forward with Raul playing just off him, Zidane drifting in from the left side and Figo from the right with Guti and Makaleli playing as the central midfielders. Real Madrid needed reinforcements in the central midfield positions and at centre back but what actually happened over the summer of 2003 showed the massive problem with Perez's transfer strategy. So United are looking to sell Beckham and Real Madrid need a Galactico and Beckham is the perfect Galactico. He was probably the most famous player in the world at the time. He had already been involved in sponsorships with massive brands and was huge in Asia, bringing in massive crowds whenever he was out there. Negotiations with Madrid began in April prior to United's second leg against Real Madrid in the Champions League. Negotiations would go on between United and Real Madrid until June, but not just with Real Madrid also Barcelona. So Joan Laporta had promised the Barcelona fans a marquee signing and in a 2017 interview, Laporta said it was between Ronaldinho, David Beckham and Thierry Henry. With Beckham seeming like the main target, Laporta and his representatives met with United and Beckham and it's reported that Laporta signed an agreement to sign Beckham should he become president because at that point he was running and had not been elected after Gaspar's resignation in February 2003. United announced they had agreed a deal to sell Beckham to Barcelona Barcelona, but Beckham was furious, feeling like United were using him in this deal, and so the deal was delayed. Laporta and Barcelona got fed up of waiting and decided to pursue Ronaldinho instead. Eventually, Real Madrid did agree a deal with United, and the reported fee was small relative to Real Madrid's previous spending. Beckham cost Real Madrid just £24.5 million, but reportedly, Perez was prepared to pay double, considering Real Madrid's previous transfers of Zidane, Figo, and Ronaldo and their transfer fees. Breaking 
down the transfer fee, Real Madrid would only pay £5.25 million initially. They would then pay annual instalments over the next four years amounting to £12.25 million and the final £7 million was incentive based on Real Madrid's performance in the Champions League over the next few seasons. Each time Real Madrid made it to the Champions League, they would pay another £875,000 to United and they would pay a further £875,000 if they reached the quarter-final stages of the competition. Beckham's weekly wage was reportedly anything from £90,000 to £120,000 per week and Beckham also agreed to Real Madrid's image rights policy where they would receive 50% of any deal he negotiated in the future. But in bringing Beckham to the club, Real Madrid allowed Claude Makélélé to leave for Chelsea for £14 million. Fernando Hierro left the club with no replacement after Real Madrid missed out on Gabriel Melito and Roberto Ayala and Fernando Morientes left on loan to Monaco, a deal that would haunt Real Madrid later on in their Champions League campaign that season. With Beckham now not available, Barcelona needed a winger to bring in and United needed a winger to replace Beckham. Both set their eyes on Ronaldinho. United had been negotiating with PSG for the 23-year-old Brazilian throughout the summer. PSG wanted £21 million and Manchester United were trying to offer Fabian Bartes as a part of the deal, who they had signed three years previous for £7.8 million. It seemed like United were overconfident of the deal happening and Ferguson wanted the deal done before United flew out to the US for their pre-season tour. However, However, PSG didn't like United's negotiating tactics and so with United not yet agreeing on the fee, Barcelona and PSG were able to come to agreement on the £21 million deal which saw Ronaldinho go from Paris to Barcelona instead of Manchester. So now Beckham was at Real Madrid and this was a deal that whilst it did see success, probably didn't live up to the expectations. Beckham won just one trophy which was La Liga title in 2007 but was never at the same level individually that he was at from 1999 to 2003 and would leave Real Madrid and Europe prematurely to go to LA Galaxy in the MLS at the age of 32. Over at Barcelona perhaps missing out on Beckham was a blessing in disguise as Ronaldinho was phenomenal and whilst Beckham was now just a very good part of an elite team, Ronaldinho was a main man and the best player in the world from 2000 2004 to 2007, as seen as not only did he help Barca win back-to-back -back La Liga titles in 2005 and 2006, but also the Champions League in 2006, whilst also picking up the FIFA World Player of the Year awards in 2004 and 2005, and the Ballon d'Or in 2005 as well, before leaving Barcelona in 2008. But the funny thing about this story is that it was Manchester United, the team that lost their key player and missed out on their first choice replacement, who definitely got the best deal out of the three. Later that summer in August 2003, United did sign the right winger they needed. However, he was not a superstar yet. His name was Cristiano Ronaldo, he was 18 years old and United signed him from Sporting Lisbon for a fee in the region of £12.25 million. And well, we all know how that turned out. So at the end of this transfer story, Real Madrid got their Galactico, Barcelona got their superstar to kickstart the Joan Laporta era, and United ended up with a teenage Cristiano Ronaldo. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that video and want to see more transfer stories like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications. Give the video a like and go to the description to check out some of my other videos as well and put your thoughts on who got the best deal in the comments section below and follow me on Instagram and Twitter for more content as well.